Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Every month I'm going to compile some form of FAQ of the hot topics, a mixture of useful, tangible news, a pinch of drama, and some more commonly asked questions about the Star Citizen project. What new features does Alpha 3.0 have? Planetary landing tech in the form of seamless landings on moons, trade and cargo mechanics, locking and breaching of ships, dynamic missions, the Delta Patcher, rotating and orbiting planets and moons, improved graphics, and hundreds of points of interest, derelicts, outposts. It also has character custom Customization, much better ship and item management and customization, object interaction, being able to flip objects around, breathing, stamina, atmosphere, and oxygen, uh, improved multi crew experiences as well. There is a lot, but the major thing for me is tangible gameplay. Mining is coming in Alpha 3.1. New ships in 3.0, it's been confirmed that the new ships and vehicles in 3.0 will be the Dragonfly, the Nox Bikes, the Urza Rover, the Prospector, the Constellation Aquila, and the reworks of the Aurora and Cutlass Black. Other ships on the longer term schedule may be nearing or basically completed, but they will not be in the 3.0 release. When is 3.0 coming out? We don't know when the live release is coming. Alpha 3.0 is currently bug fixing the final issues. Then it will go to either Carti with the non-CIG early testers. That phase realistically could take between the end of September to the end of October. Anywhere around then that phase will start most likely. Once it goes to the Eva Carti, it will go to the wider PTU test, which is the public test universe where some more players are invited. And then that will go to a live build. You can follow the burn down on Around the Verse every Thursday and the schedule report on every Friday to see the state of the bug fixing and to form a better estimate of when we're going to see 3.0 exactly where we're at. Will we see performance gains in 3.0? So we won't really know until it's in our hands and after PTU testing. There are network improvements and these improvements are in the form of uh, improved message queues, serialized physics and a data refactor as well as general performance increases from optimizations, better utilization of CPU multi-threading, better GPU utilization there is the potential for 3.0 to have some much better frame rates. The start of the utilization of object container streaming and bind culling are planned for 3.0. These are major um, and they are really needed to see more major improvements on the network, server and client side. Eventually the plan is to have everyone in a single server using server meshing where more servers look after um, zones based on population and players move seamlessly between them. For 3.0, expect 24 players in the server. They are trying to get more. That is something they are working on in improvement parcel at the moment. Should I buy Star Citizen now? Star Citizen is in its alpha phase of development. 3.0 will certainly bring a large amount of tangible gameplay, but the point of this current phase is to test the game, give feedback on balance and mechanics and plans for the future. The community help test the game, report bugs, and get involved with the project. If that appeals to you, then yes, you should consider buying now if you want to be involved with that. If, however, you are after a game to play and you want a fully fleshed out game, then check out EVE, Elite Dangerous, Space Engineers, or something like that that is more complete. When is Star Citizen releasing? So there are no hard dates on Star Citizen's release. Realistically, I'm expecting the beta of the game in 2019. Cautious optimism is advised, however, as the game does not have release dates. It doesn't need to conform to them as it doesn't have a traditional publisher. They're publishing themselves. Quality, they've said, will always trump release dates and scheduling. They're trying to build of the game of Chris Roberts' dreams and hopefully our dreams too. Is Star Citizen pay to win? No, Star Citizen will be specifically not pay to win. You can certainly buy these larger ships. These will require crews, maintenance and practice to use effectively. You can join an org that has these ships already. Everything though is obtainable in game with Star Citizen and it's worth grabbing just the basic starter pack for $45 if you are considering playing um, and then getting involved with the community at this stage. In Alpha 3.1 you're going to be able to buy ships with in-game credits. In 3.0 you're going to be able to buy FPS gear and ship equipment so there'll be some limited buying and some limited gameplay hooks there. Is Star Citizen a scam? No. The studios employ over 400 people. They produce weekly shows. They've been building an extremely good looking game. It's the most transparent studio and game development I've ever seen. And personally, I've been on multiple office tours. I can confirm that they are doing some pretty awesome stuff and they're working on much more than just 3.0. They've got 3.1, 3.2, Squadron 42 and beyond that they've been working on simultaneously. What's going to be shown at CitizenCon? So there's nothing in particular confirmed for the presentation there. They're kind of reserving the rights to, to judge it or they haven't 
for anything in stone yet. Faceware, who developed the face over IP for Star Citizen, have said that you can learn more about their tech at CitizenCon, so expect to see them talk about it a bit more there. Uh, beyond that, there's the expectation that they might show the Squadron 42 vertical slice that was missing from last year. There's also the potential to show mechanics like mining, salvage, more capital ships, expanded biomes for planets, system jumping, procedural cities, lots of stuff. That's all potentially. We don't know, though. Concepts. The Origin X1 open canopy bike is expected to be the next concept sale. Uh, there is also a ship known as just the Game Changer that Ben Lesnick mentioned on a Ben's Day with Batgirl. We know some things about this ship. It is specifically a ship that has not been seen or announced yet. It's not a gimmick. It's a big civilian job. It's a big ship. It's going to be going on concept cell in 2017. I'm expecting it's CitizenCon, but I don't know that for sure. It is not a terraforming ship, but uh, it is part of or adds a game mechanic or adds to a game mechanic in some way. Hence the term game changer. Some other things that I learned this week or recently. Outside the mouse and keyboard, the most preferred Star Citizen peripheral is currently the Thrustmaster T16000M. Uh, some of the characters from the contemporary lore posts will exist in verse. Uh, the Delta Patcher is going to be released alongside 3.0 and planets will have their own unique atmosphere and gravity to uh, even in 3.0. Why do I make Star Citizen content is a question I actually get asked quite a lot. So Star Citizen is a game, is the game in fact, that I've been the most excited about ever. I am not paid by CIG or Foundry 42 in any way and I could probably make more YouTube money by covering Destiny, Blizzard games or survival stuff. I make Star Citizen content and cover the game because I love the community and I expect the game to be complex and fun enough to warrant a dedicated YouTube channel or channels covering. I love the project. I love the idea about the game. I love the devs that work on it. I hate the amount of time it takes for us to get alphas and more content. I hate scheduling problems. I hate the times that they get wrong. I think the devs do a huge amount right with transparency, but get things wrong with marketing and occasional decisions. Also, my favourite ship is the Reclaimer. Both times I've seen it in my studio tours um, and thought about its potential as a salvager and treasure hunting ship. It really kind of touched some of the gameplay that I really want there. The narrative team have also implied that there may be some interesting artefacts to find in the verse, and I think a lot of us expecting some cool treasure hunting, ancient tech or rail salvage kind of stuff. And that was kind of it for my first FAQ on, on this sort of stuff. Every month we give away a ship for September. It's a Nox Q. All you need to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel and comment on any of my Star Citizen content during that particular month. Do you have any questions for um, Star Citizen development in general? For me, for Alpha 3.0, um, any more questions you'd like to add for the next FAQ or I'll try and answer them below. A special thank you to my Patreons for allowing me to create the amount of content I do. If you're interested in becoming one of them, there is the link to Patreon below as well as everything else we've talked about. Um, there is also links to uh, info about Star Citizen Citizen's planned features for when it goes for a live release, assuming it went live like tomorrow. Uh, these are the features that it would be planned in it. Bam! That's, that's the idea of that video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as well, um, as it really does help me, and I will see you in the verse.